In this demo, I'm going to show you how you can use RAD projects in Maya Eclipse. Uh, I'm going to be using Maya Eclipse Blue Edition 2013. Uh, so let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and import the projects into my workspace. I have a zip containing uh, containing the sample RAD project. So you can see there's an ear with a JSF, EJB, and web module. This is part of the RAD EJB counter sample that's that dis that's distributed with uh, with different versions of RAD. So click finish. Uh, projects are now in my workspace, and you can see that my Eclipse detects that um, these projects need migration, and the migration wizard pops up. I'm going to cancel this right now because I want to show you um, the errors that exist in your project at this time. So if I click the ear, you can see that it, it shows you the runtime is not defined. So this is more environmental, nothing wrong with the project as such, but this runtime is not defined in your My Eclipse Blue environment right now. Go to the web project, beyond the runtime not being defined, it actually has an unbound JRE class path container. So even you will see basic errors like, like, like this one, string cannot be resolved to a type uh, in your project. So the projects just won't build. So I'm going to go ahead and continue with the migration process now. Go to the project migration view. You can see it lists out the same set of projects. They need migration. And I'm going to right click and choose migrate. Uh, migration wizard pops up. Click next. And you can see that um, it has shown me that um, this project is associated with WebSphere 7. But this is not WebSphere 7 is not configured in my workspace right now. Um, if I click this, you can see that it also allows me to associate the project with WebSphere 8.5 instead, which I do have configured. But for this demo, we're going to go ahead and configure WebSphere 7 uh, as well. So I'm going to click this button, it brings up my, my WebSphere preference page. Click Browse, and let's just set up WebSphere 7. This is where it is. Okay, I'm going to click load profiles that that reads my my server configuration loads in any of the profiles that are already configured I'm going to click OK and you can see that the errors at least um, in the wizard are now resolved um, now this is this is a pretty basic set of projects just in uh, JSF module web module EJB module but I want to point out that we also handle other project types like utility projects uh, uh, application client projects connector projects you know, uh, all those are handled and understood by my Eclipse Blue as well. I'm going to click Finish, and uh, it's now making changes mostly to my workspace configuration, a few changes to the project, and you can see that all the errors in the project have now uh, disappeared. So project has no more errors, everything resolves, everything compiles, and we can go ahead and try to deploy it. Also notice that my server server view now has a WebSphere 7 connector configured. So I'm going to right click the project, choose My Eclipse, and uh, sorry, run as My Eclipse server application. It's going to show me uh, WebSphere 7 and 8.5. It's not showing me Tomcat because you can't deploy an ear to Tomcat. And so I'm going to choose WebSphere 7, click OK. So the deployment has now started. And uh, what, that, what that action does is um, it starts the server and deploys the project, you know, copies over your project resources over to the WebSphere deployment location. Um, now while that's going on, I'd like to talk about some of our other deployment modes. So we also have um, an in-workspace deployment mode, similar to what you have in RAD, and that's especially useful when you have large projects. So for a project of this size, it doesn't really make much of a difference, not that much to copy, but when you have projects that are a few hundred megabytes in size, uh, the in workspace deployment mode really is essential. So what in that mode, um, what happens is uh, we just make references into your project from the deployment location. Nothing's actually copied over to the server, and um, it's it's just a much faster you know deploy debug test experience. So you can see that the server is running and my project has been deployed. Okay, I'm going to just uh, uh, open it in the browser. You can see. Here's the sample index page for the project. And I'm going to go ahead and click increment. You can see that I've already run this sample a few times. And uh, it's working. And uh, it's just that simple. That, that's all there is to it.